Hello guys and welcome back here at Gaming Boulevard. So today we're doing a very special video of the Zelda Art and Artifacts book that released in Japan and that will come to the US later this year. Uh, so this is the book, it's a really big book, the new uh, Triforce is on here. The back has some uh, chapter chapters 1 to 3, but there we go. So the book, if you compare it to the Japanese Hyrule Historia, it really is a big, big book. Compare it to the American Hyrule Historia, and you'll see that the styles match more. But this art and artifact book is again a lot thicker. So there's a lot of content. What we're gonna do now is show you the book page by page. So let's check it out. So it opened up this way, all black, nice Zelda logo, Triforce logo, let's check it out. So the Legend of Zelda Hyrule graphics, alright, chapter 1, the masterpiece illustrations. So here we have some artwork of the first Zelda game, just gonna turn the pages, so this is all the Legend of Zelda, the first uh, game, really nice art, so there we go, some battles, some promotional artwork. Here we go. Here we see Link, we see the Ancient Knights. So there's no indication of which game it is, it's just artwork. So this is a famous art piece that was used for Link to the Past. Here you can see dates, so it's 1991 that the art was released first. The Goddesses. The Triforce, some love for the Triforce of course. Sleeping Link, Link and Zelda, a Link chilling out, Link's Awakening, so here's, there's a difference between the, the artwork here with the more, more flares, this is just a regular art, Link's Awakening art was with the giant egg of course, the island of the game, the characters, Ocarina of Time, so again two separate art styles, two separate artworks. This is probably the best known Ocarina of Time artwork. Here, there you can see a, a sketch of it. Again, real artwork, and I'm gonna zoom in on that one, the sketch, there you go. The Deco Tree. So, a lot of love for Ocarina of Time, so it seems, which makes sense, of course, since this is considered one of the best Zelda games, so it's nice to have the artwork. Also note the double pages really looking great. It's great to have the actual sketches, so here you can see another sketch of Majora's Mask. Really nice, I haven't seen that one before. There we go, Clock Town. Majora's Mask as we knew it from the 3DS. Again, different art styles here. Yeah, this it's a gorgeous, a good, really, truly gorgeous artwork. You can really see and appreciate the Oracle games and Game Boy Color. So, of course, a, a different style, and we have Wind Waker. That one really, really had a nice style, and as you can see in the book, the uh, promotional artwork, the artwork that was created for it, just look at it, it really looks great. Personally, it's one of my favorite styles, especially the glass works. So amazing to see them all. Oh, look at this, all the glass works here. Really, really nice. Four Source Adventures. Perhaps one of the lesser played Zelda, so not a lot of not a lot of attention for that game. Switching over to Minish Cap or Minish Cap. There we go. Some bigger love for that game, so it seems. Again, glass work like we saw in Wind Waker, but different. Twilight Princess, the darker Zelda. So let's see how the art looks. So yeah, the art is of course a little bit darker. It's interesting, there are some pieces I, I haven't seen before, like this one. So yeah, first impression of the book, it really is amazing. So you have all the artwork if you're a Zelda fan, it's amazing to have, especially pages like these. Really, really, really look amazing. 
Let's continue. Ah, Phantom Hourglass. Oh, Spirit Tracks. How you disappointed. But hey, the artwork was okay. If you see it here, the art is pretty decent. Skyward Swords. Really nice artwork here. Several covers of Link. This loft wing. The cast of Skyward Swords. A link between two worlds on 3DS. This game also had a gorgeous art suite. Really looking more like the old style Zelda games, but it's amazing. The details. It really is a nice book. If you if you if you're able to own it, really give it a shot because it's all the best of Zelda in one book. There we go. Triforce Heroes. The last Zelda game that released on 3DS, so where you had to cooperate with each other. A lot of love for uh, Triforce Heroes. So here you can see the artwork here. It's, it's pretty decent. Then we go over to Chapter 2, Character Illustrations. So now we will zoom in on the characters itself. First of all, Link, of course. I think we're gonna see him from uh, the first Zelda game to the last one, so let's check it out. This is all artwork of the first Zelda game, so really, <laughs> it's a uh, 80s, 90s vibe, so which makes sense since the game is released back then. But look at those monsters; they really, they really are amazing. Uh, moving on, so a lot of classic Zelda monsters really uh, came from these ideas. So perhaps you uh, recognize some of the. Uh, better known characters. Here you have some uh, items. Of course, items always play the huge role in Zelda. There we go. Link's Adventure. And now you have actually the title of the game. So now you can see from where the artwork comes from. A lot of pictures. Here the sword. If you can uh, recognize it, it was on the, the box. Enemies. Again, really retro feeling to it, but yet familiar for some. Really, they look realistic, as you can see here. It's it's a very different style of enemies, but it's great to have the uh, items again. Nice list. Moving on, Link to the Past. So again, they start with Link. More Link in action. Some more Links. A lot of Link. Princess Zelda, of course. Regular queen like, and yeah, there's a little fairy as a bonus. The enemies, Ganon. The items, which uh, <laughs> yeah, expanded a lot. So you have a lot of items in Link to the Past. Even more. Oh no, this is Link's Awakening, sorry. Link's Awakening, there we go. Short, so three pages of character art and items. Ocarina of Time. We will see a, a lot of this, I, I assume. So these, yeah, I grew up with those pictures, so I really, really know them and love them, of course. Link again sketches, so I really like those uh, original sketches. There we go, more Link. There are some odd pieces I haven't seen in quite a while, so it's, it's great to see them again. It really, truly is a great book. Young Link, Zelda, young and adult. Oh, skip the page here. Almost missed shake. Ganondorf, the 3D model and a sketch. So it's really nice to have them side by side. Oh, uh, one of again one of those great sketches. There we go. The other characters of Ocarina of Time. Some of them look the Mario and Luigi cameo. Gorons, Skullkits, Zoras, again the monsters, so that means we're almost hitting the item list. Some of the bosses of the game, more bosses and of course the items, which you can really see are expanding game after game. So Next up is Majora's Mask, so there we go, Link, Young Link. Wearing this mask, it's Goron Link. There we go. Really nice. Uh, one of my personal favorites. Again, with a sketch, so that's nice to have. Skull Kid wearing the Majora's mask. 
characters. There we go. More characters. The mailman. Oh, bastard. Ah, look who's here. Fans love him, right? There we go. Some of the boss battles. The item list. Yeah, comparable to Ocarina of Time. Next up. Oracle of Ages and Seasons. Seasons. There we go. Uh, those hell assist animals were great. So, great art style. More artwork. I uh, really love those. Really, man, this book is trimmed on memory lane, which is which is awesome. So it really, really is a great book. As you can see, I hope you, I hope it 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 works out by seeing it. But really, it's it's an amazing book, and it doesn't really matter that it's in Japanese. It's just artwork. So there's no real text. It's just awesome artwork and the items, man, amazing. Uh, Wind Waker. Again with the new style. So this is, are the HD versions. The Toon Link, a lot of discussion about him back in the days, but eventually it turned out pretty well. Zelda and Tetra, maybe they are the same. Ganondorf, sketch 3D model. The Pirate Gang, and Link's sister that got kidnapped. Yeah, some of the uh, memorable characters. Man, really, really, I really should play Wind Waker again, seeing these. Tingle, the King. A lot of Wind Waker love, which I really adore. So the, the bosses, great, great designs. The items of Wind Waker. Over to Four Swords Adventure. One of the first real co-op uh, experiences not that many items not that many pages so moving on four swords adventure sorry the the first one was four swords this is four swords adventure so uh, there we go this uh, tetra communicating with you using gba classic gameplay minish cap minish cap don't know the right pronunciation but you get it there we go this is actually Pretty recycled from Wind Waker now that I see it. Didn't notice that first, but hey. There we go, the items. The item list, Vati. Twilight Princess, again, the more adult. Whoa, 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 really liking this one. Haven't seen it before. So again, yeah, what I was saying, the, the more adult style Zelda. The darker one. But nah, Wolf Link, really nice. Zelda, 3D models and sketches, and Zelda's puppet. Here's the bad boy. Got really, this is a dark sketch, so there's not a lot of details in here, which is a shame, really. Zant, who should have been the, the only boss to fight. Really not liking the old Ganondorf control San. Scheme, but yeah, that's my opinion, right? So one of the uh, important characters that helped to the creatures, monsters. So again, these books really show the progression of Zelda games. So first, the monsters we saw at the first early games look realistic, game more fantasy-like, but yet they remained that to have that dark slash realistic vibe to them. So. It's really nice to see the progress of those games. A lot of Twilight Princess love. Oh, is that you, Ridley? Oh, no. It's not. Oh, hello, Link's crossbow training. Yeah, almost forgot about this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, so there's only one art, but hey, it's, it's in here, right? Uh, Phantom Hourglass on the Nintendo DS. It was okay. Better than a Spirit Tracks, in my opinion. But the controls weren't my thing. <laughs> a lot of items, though, which is cool. Uh, actually, it's items and ship parts, but a lot of stuff. Yeah, Phantom uh, Spirit Tracks. Yeah, uh, no. 
like the snake thingy, but that's about it. Not a fan of the uh, on rails setting in an empty world, so yeah, not a fan, but the art is amazing. Well, it, yeah, yeah, it's amazing, it's great. There we go, some of the bad guys. Oh, this is kind of cute. Icons, yes. And of course, the stamps. Great, great. We really thought of everything. So again, items and train parts because you had a train, not a ship. Awesome. Skyward Sword. Yeah, uh, yeah. This this one you didn't see that much. So this was the cover art again with the sketches on his big butt, loft wing. There's a figurine coming f for this one. Really looking great. Really want it. But that's not what this video is about. So this is about the artwork, the uh, arts and artifacts book from Japan coming to USA later. I'm not sure if it's this year or next year, but it will come. Uh, there's actually that not that much text to translate since it's all artwork, as you can see here. And the artwork is amazing. I really like it. Boss battles, items. Check, check those items. Two pages, yeah. Good for you, Skyward Sword. Link between worlds. Ah, there we go. Ravio. So yeah, really great to see all those characters return again. Very, very dark Ganon here. Oh, is that a dark link? Spoiler alert! The painting characters, this is nice to have. So the 2D, the 2D characters. And the item switch, yeah, okay. The last one, Triforce Hero. So of course a lot of different costumes were created for this one. Perhaps we will see more. Oh uh, yeah, we will see more links being fabulous. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, this one ha had strange art actually. It's the first time I really noticed how weird it is. Yeah, some costumes. Look at this one. Uh, Nintendo. And then chapter 3, extra contents. Let's see what's extra. Oh, the logos. Look at all those logos. So these are the Japanese logos. Perhaps this will be changed in the English version. Or perhaps not, because this is logo and this is the US version so actually <laughs> they just need to add a few things to the book translate a few things and then you have it you can you can just put it in in stores the box arts nice the US version so again yeah they, I don't see why you can't import this one so you don't really have to wait for the English one. Oh, look at look at this realistic link what is it what is it? Is it Smash? Perhaps? Ah, uh, yeah, these these were the first sketches, 30th anniversary. Oh, the Mario Kart 8, they included Mario Kart 8. Great, <laughs> fun. So yeah, a lot of, a lot of great content here. Ah, uh, yes, yes, the New Year's photograph. Link being silly here. Strange. And then we have this, uh, Alternative Twilight, Twilight Princess art, so it seems great. Uh, the characters, so the pixel art for the old school fans. Look at it, great pixels. The adventure of Link, Link to the past. Enemies, boss fights, equipments. Oh, and it seems like we're ending so. Talking with the illustration artist, so, oh, okay, this will be the part that will be translated, I think. So here you have interviews with the artists, which I can't read, because I don't speak Japanese and I don't read Japanese. Oh, look at this. Breath of the Wild. Nice. So, yeah, this is, oh, uh, oh, uh, yeah, Breath of the Wild, of course. Ending with the gorgeous artwork of Breath of the Wild. Oh man, this is amazing. Yeah, I really want that game and I want it now. And that's it. So they concluded with Breath of the Wild. There we go. 
This is the uh, book. So the characters, art and artifacts book from the Legend of Zelda. Really worth checking out. Thank you guys for checking out this video. Hope you liked it and please subscribe to us for more in the future.